Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Mike with Wu Audio. Today's episode of Frequently Asked Questions, we're going to talk about impedance matching between your headphones and the amplifier. Now specifically, we are going to talk about headphone amplifiers. Amplifiers for driving headphones are very different from amplifiers for driving loudspeakers for your home. Because loudspeakers for the home are pretty much industry standard at 8 ohms in most cases. There are some high-end speakers that are 6 ohms or 4 ohms, uh, but never below 2 ohms because most amplifiers cannot handle 2 ohms or below. But pretty much industry standard is 4 ohms, 6 ohms or 8 ohms. And of course some obscure speakers or some DIY speakers may be up to 16 ohms. Going back to headphone amplifiers, you may have noticed that some have an impedance setting. Uh, at a low impedance or high impedance, some manufacturers may have a specific output for each of the impedance and that can be confusing as to which one to use. Headphones can come in a wide range of impedance. We've seen some balanced armature IEMs that are down to 8 ohms and some over the ear headphones like the Sennheiser uh, HD414, uh, the original one, that are 2000 ohms. So the range can be very wide which leads us to ask what impedance should I use? Is it a high impedance or low impedance? Most modern low impedance headphones that are highly efficient are not sensitive to impedance matching with the amplifier. So you may or may not hear a sonic difference between high and low setting. If your headphones are spec'd at under 150 ohms, we recommend that you start with a low impedance setting on your amplifier. If your headphones are spec'd at above 150 ohms, we recommend that you start at the high impedance setting. But this recommendation is not set in stone. We recommend to use the setting that sounds best to you and the one that has the lowest noise level for your headphones. It won't harm the headphones or the amplifier. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe and tell your friends about us. If you have a question specific to your Wu Audio system, send us an email and we'll try our best to answer them. And if you have a topic that you'd like us to cover in an upcoming FAQ video, send us an email with the subject line FAQ videos and we'll try to cover it. Thanks for watching and we'll see everyone in our next video.